Have you ever sat back and wondered to yourself, why is GPS free to use? It's a curious question, isn't it? Think about it. GPS has become an inseparable part of our daily lives, whether it's navigating through unfamiliar streets or even something as mundane as timekeeping. We are constantly relying on this technology. But have you ever wondered how this came to be? Well, grab yourself a cup of coffee, sit back and relax as we delve into the fascinating history of GPS. The story of GPS, or Global Positioning System, starts in the midst of Cold War paranoia. As tensions soared between the United States and the Soviet Union, the U.S. Department of Defense was hard at work, developing a technological marvel that would revolutionize warfare, navigation, and much more. It was the late 1970s when the seeds of this incredible technology were sown. The U.S. military needed a solution to accurately pinpoint any location on Earth, a tool that was essential in the high-stakes game of global strategy. Enter the GPS, a system designed to provide precise real-time positioning and timing data anywhere in the world. The creation of the GPS was a feat of technological brilliance involving a constellation of 24 satellites orbiting the Earth, their signals received by ground-based stations and military units. These signals, when processed, could reveal a location to within a few meters, a level of accuracy unheard of at the time. This wasn't just about dotting I's and crossing its on a map, though. GPS had the potential to transform military operations, making them more efficient, more precise, and less prone to human error. It meant that troops could navigate unfamiliar terrain, missiles could hit their targets with an unprecedented degree of accuracy, and reconnaissance missions could be carried out with a level of detail that was simply astonishing. Think about it for a moment. We're talking about a technology that could pinpoint a location anywhere on the globe at any time, regardless of weather conditions. It was a game changer, a tool that gave the U.S. military a significant edge in a world where every advantage counted. The system was groundbreaking but remained exclusive to military use. That was until a tragic incident changed everything. The year was 1983, and a Korean Airlines flight veered off course into Soviet airspace. Let's take a step back and put ourselves in the turbulent world of the Cold War era. In the early hours of September 1, 1983, Korean Airlines Flight 007, carrying 269 passengers and crew, strayed off its intended path on a flight from New York to Seoul. This unfortunate deviation led the commercial jetliner into the forbidden Soviet airspace. The Soviets, suspecting an espionage mission, made the fateful decision to shoot down the plane, causing a tragic loss of life that reverberated around the globe. It was a chilling reminder of the high stakes in the geopolitical chess game of the time. Now you might be wondering, what does this have to do with GPS? Well, it's quite significant. You see, at the time, the US military had already developed the Global Positioning System, or GPS as we know it today. However, this technology was strictly for military use and was not available to the public. But the downing of Korean Airlines Flight 007 made the powers that be reconsider. It highlighted a stark reality. The lack of precise navigation systems could lead to catastrophic consequences. If the commercial jet had access to GPS technology, it might have stayed on course, avoiding the fatal intrusion into Soviet airspace. This incident caught the attention of then-President Ronald Reagan, Recognizing the potential benefits of GPS not only for aviation but also for everyday life, he made a pivotal decision. He instructed the Department of Defense to make GPS freely available for civilian use once it was fully operational. It was a bold move, meant to prevent such tragedies from happening in the future. And so, from the ashes of a Cold War tragedy, a catalyst for change emerged. The decision to make GPS technology available to all was a silver lining a beacon of progress in a time of tension and conflict. This tragic incident led to a significant policy shift that would eventually benefit us all. Making GPS free for public use was easier said than done. When the decision was made to transition GPS from a strictly military tool to a public utility, there were a number of challenges to overcome. Firstly, there were technological hurdles. The GPS system was initially designed for specific military applications with high-precision secure communications being a priority. Adapting this technology for widespread civilian use required significant modifications to ensure it was user-friendly, reliable, and above all, safe. GPS signals needed to be accurate enough for everyday use, 
yet not so precise that they could be exploited for nefarious purposes. This resulted in the implementation of selective availability, a feature that intentionally degraded the signal to ensure it couldn't be used for military precision strikes by potential adversaries. Then, there were the policy hurdles. The Department of Defense was initially reluctant to share this technology due to national security concerns. It took considerable negotiations and reassurances before they were on board. Even then, there were debates on who would manage the system, how it would be funded, and what the rules of usage would be. The Federal Aviation Administration, the Federal Communications Commission, and the National Telecommunications and Information Administration all played key roles in these discussions. It took years of legislative maneuvering before the policies were in place to make GPS a public utility. But perhaps the biggest challenge was simply convincing the world that this was a good idea. Many were skeptical of the military's motives and concerned about potential misuse of the technology. Yet with time, the benefits began to outweigh the fears. GPS started to revolutionize everything from navigation to timekeeping, agriculture to emergency response, and so much more. Despite these challenges, the decision to transition GPS from a military tool to a public utility was not taken lightly. It was a calculated move, driven by a vision of a more interconnected and efficient world. Despite the challenges, the decision to make GPS free was a game changer, not just for the United States, but for the entire world. Fast forward to today, and GPS has become an integral part of our daily lives. The global positioning system, once an exclusive tool for military use, has woven itself into the fabric of our everyday experiences. It's almost impossible to imagine a world without it. From the moment we wake up, GPS is there. It powers our morning alarms, syncing time across devices and continents with atomic precision. It guides our morning commutes, directing us through traffic and suggesting the quickest routes. But it doesn't stop there. GPS is at work in the background, facilitating the smooth running of our global systems. It's in the delivery truck that brings your online shopping right to your doorstep. It's in the drone that maps out the topography of a construction site. It's even in the fishing vessel that navigates the vast open oceans. Industries, from logistics to agriculture, have been revolutionized by the presence of GPS. Farmers now use GPS-guided tractors for precision farming, while airlines use it for safe and efficient routing of their flights. It's also a key player in emergency response systems, helping locate those in need with pinpoint accuracy. In the realm of technology, GPS has been a catalyst for innovation. It gave birth to the gig economy, powering services like ride-hailing and food delivery apps. It's the backbone of geolocation games, transforming the world into a playground. Beyond the practical, GPS has also found its place in the creative world. Artists use it to create GPS art, drawing pictures on the globe by moving through GPS-tracked routes. Scientists use it to study animal migration patterns, unlocking secrets of the natural world. And let's not forget its role in space exploration. GPS is helping us navigate not just our world, but other planets too. It's being used to guide rovers on Mars, opening up new frontiers for human knowledge and discovery. From a military tool to a public utility, the journey of GPS is a testament to the power of technology and the benefits of making it accessible to all. So, there you have it, the fascinating story of why GPS is free to use. Let's take a moment to reflect on the journey we've just traced. From the birth of GPS, a revolutionary technology born out of the necessity of accurate navigation for the military, to the dramatic catalyst that sparked the change for its civilian use. Remember how we delved into the tragic incident of the Korean Airlines Flight 007? That unfortunate event was a turning point, prompting the US government to consider the broader benefits of GPS. It became clear that making this technology available to the public could potentially prevent such disasters from happening again. We also explored the challenges faced in implementing this change. It was no small feat requiring significant technological advancements and policy alterations. But the tireless efforts of many ensured that GPS transitioned from a strictly military tool to a widely accessible utility. Finally, we touched upon the profound impact of GPS today, a technology that has become so ingrained in our daily lives. From guiding us on road trips to tracking our fitness routines, GPS has transformed the way we navigate our world. Next time you use your GPS, Spare a moment to appreciate the remarkable journey it's been on to get to your smartphone. 
Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring.